is Ms. Book 2, Chapter 10, Part 4. Now every man has his pride, and every man in love hopes to feel safely in possession of it, too. I was all he wanted, and for sure he did not want to lose me to anyone else who might want me, especially a girl. In my manner, being open and friendly flirtatious sometimes, he saw the danger and reacted. There would be problems. When I went against his wishes, he often got back at me in his own way, demanding we quit the lively scene on the street, the sidewalk cafe, the noisy spill out of the bar of the humans with their liquid courage lighting them up, and all what fun we could have deciding upon one we would take in the night. Ordinarily, when problems arose between us, we took that displaced energy to the streets to clear the channels, maybe went to carve up some parking lot on his board, or hit a corner store to charge up on ice cream sandwiches. But he would short circuit an otherwise good time out of pride. And if I stayed too long at the Imperial with the others, for sure he would be stung. Seeing him smile like he did in the aftermath of our love lit me up for sure. To see him happy was the only charge I needed. Nobody could say anything to take our joy away. Only the falling of the sun below the concrete and the life of the night breaking out around us could bring a taper to our delight, knowing there was an end to it because you gotta sleep eventually. You gotta move on and take care of daily life. And the insensitivity of the durable world begins to seat itself before you. All the waiting in lines and falling into planned designs and the stickiness of culture's web. From money and talk and each of us with our own egos. Trying to get our needs met and going about it all wrong and self-centered like. And providing identification and getting through only with passwords and... Sometimes what we really need we have so encrypted and hid beneath layers and layers to protect it. And then with the limit of memory reached we find in one horrible shocking moment that we can sadly no longer access our own eternal wisdom. We can no longer access pieces of ourselves buried beneath the scarring where we have buried it inaccessible hoping he could press himself against me for all eternity, Mays reclaimed some of those lost and buried treasures. For after all, they are always with us, inherently. Whether or not you can access them through the typical channels, you find there are other secret points of access in the hopeless moment of forgetful crisis. And suddenly in the sky, the dropout spinning us off the earth, show us a new way to move the wind, the ice, and the fire, and all the basic elements become sublimated.